Hello everybody, my name is Sean from a and also known as Awesome Nerds Play Games. Let's go right back into Black Rose. Now we've got the key for the visiting room, and we're going to go in and probably get attacked by this woman. Uh, we just learned that there was, uh, we found a note that there was a guy here that used to work here, and uh, strange shit's been, been happening. So, uh, see I'm not the only one. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh no. What was that? What was that? She can attack me again? You saw it too, right? Guys, I don't like this. It just went like grayish for a little for a couple seconds. Like the screen. And now we have creepy fucking music. I'm gonna have to go back. Oh, I'm getting chills, dude. I think I gotta go back upstairs. Fuck. Because I still don't know the combination of that keypad yet. Um, I'm assuming something will happen in the visitation room. Show me. Oh my fucking Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck, dude. Do I have to follow that guy? Has this gotten darker? Oh, shit. Who put that up there? I should be the only one here. Fuck. Mrs. Rains, please tell your son to stop playing under the tables during funeral services. It's disruptive and upsetting to the grieving families. Today, he also stole one of the keys to the visitation room and was later attempting to open one of the drawers in the morgue. This type of behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. If you do not start controlling him, I will take it upon myself to personally kick his ass. I mean, teach him a lesson. Michael. All right, Michael. Uh, okay, wait, though. This has some thing. He stole one of the keys and was attempting to open one of the drawers in the morgue. It means I have to go down in the morgue, but I was already down in the morgue with, with Morticia in the funeral in the, the coffin and whatnot. <gasps> is this open? Oh, <gasps> it is. Oh, shit, guys. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. As I should be. There's probably something in here. <gasps> a key. Ten bucks says there's a key in here that I'm gonna get attacked. I didn't bet ten dollars. I was just kidding. What's the, what's the point of this room anyway? Okay. Oh, that's why. To make things even weirder, this place has a serious lockdown. Right? It's fucking weird. It was the first time I've ever seen it used, and many of the workers, including myself, were ordered to wait in the family room until the situation was taken care of. No one I've spoken to about it knows why it was done, or at least they won't say. All I know is that these safety glass windows and electronic gates appear to be designed for keeping things in rather than out. Not not okay. Does that mean I need to go to the family room, though? That was the first response oh, shit. that day. I was the first and only person to make it to Myrtle's side before she passed away. She managed to give Sullivan a parting I love you on that baby monitor, but that was the last communication they ever had. The last thing she ever did was give me that piece of paper. It was a short poem she had written for Sullivan earlier that day. She asked me to give it to him, and I promised her I would. And then she slipped away. I guess Sullivan had picked up by Myrtle's weak grasping in the baby monitor that something was happening to her. Because soon after she had passed, he came running into the hall from the upstairs arrangement room. But he was too late. She was gone. That's when he broke down. I had never seen him show so much emotion towards Myrtle before. Then, of course, the rest happened. I'll keep my promise, even now. It's all I can do for my dear friends. All right, so. Fuck. Saving! Yes! Made it to a fucking save point. I am. Oh, man, you guys do not know how happy that makes me feel.
because this whole time I knew there's save points, right? But I don't know where and when it's been saving because I, like I said, I've never seen this game or this is the first time I've played it. So, oh, thank, thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's the game is saved. Oh man, this is this is outstanding. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna go to the family room. You know what? I don't care if I get killed. Oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna read this. Well, I'll read it then. There are a lot of strange things I've seen around this place. For instance, the fireplace that isn't even a real fireplace. It's some kind of ladder shaft. But there's a tough metal but there's a tough metal grate fastened over it that appears to be controlled electronically, most likely by the lockdown system. I'm assuming the shaft leads down to the basement, but it must have been sealed off because it's not accessible from anywhere down there. Another thing I've started wondering about is a metal handle that's been sitting on Michael's desk for about a month now. I asked about it once out of curiosity to be avoided giving me a direct answer. He told me it broke off of something. I'd already assumed this, seeing as it's covered in dirt and rusted around the edges where it had clearly been attached to something for a very long time. Perhaps the biggest mystery I've encountered here is the place Myrtle always went for privacy. Hmm. Okay, so before I continue, let's, uh, let's, let's check this off here okay so the fireplace isn't real this is a weird ass funeral home like I'm starting to think like there's like some government shit going on here right I, I feel like it's kind of got that raccoon city resident evil vibe going on where the mansion is really a mansion it's a goddamn laboratory um, okay so so there's a ladder from there that goes down in the fireplace um, Something on Michael's desk that broke off a metal a metal thing. Okay. Oh, there's more. She was often depressed, so she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she meant to be alone. However, she seemed to vanish. The only place she could have gone from that hallway is down into the basement, but I went down there one day to ask her something, and I couldn't find her. I'm wondering if there's a secret room somewhere down there. After all, I did learn from Michael that this building is from the 1600s, long before it was ever a funeral home. Buildings as old as this one sometimes have quite a few secret areas. Shit, dudes! There, I gotta go back down. I gotta go back down there. Are you, are you kidding me? You know what? I'm in this to win this, though. So I don't care. Bring, bring it on, man. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that I've just learned. Fireplace isn't real. Um, the something on Michael's desk, sort of handle thing. Pretty sure I read this. No! They still haven't buried them. Sullivan has been laying in his coffin now for two days and Myrtle for three. Because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after a funeral, it had to be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them, even if all he's doing it is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins, or heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. What's sad is that Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials to actually do something about this. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all the relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them have objected. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing so, considering the person they would be doing it for is already gone. I don't know. As far as feeling nervous around coffins, I do get a strange vibe now in the visitation room. The atmosphere in there is starting to feel different. The air feels heavier. A little bit more oppressive even. It seems to be more noticeable than it, today than it was yesterday. I'm not quite sure if I believe in ghosts or not, but it seems to fit what I've heard of before about locations having uncomfortable negative energy due to evil or extremely upset spirits. Maybe it's just normal stuffy air. There aren't any windows in there and it is the middle of summer. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's stuffy and it's it's a little humid, right? Yeah, that's exactly it. All right, guys, on that note, I am going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Story is now definitely ramping up. Um, awesome things are happening. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am Sean from ANPG, also known as Awesome Nerds Play Games. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um... Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Have a great night.